What is good, people? Satsuki the Savage here, here to talk about the 2020 summer anime, all right? I didn't do a video like this last season because with this coronavirus, things have been looking pretty hectic for me, all right? But we're trying to get back into the flow of things. But before I get into what I'll be watching, which I don't think is going to be a lot, I think I'll talk about what I watch for the spring season because I think I really was just honing in on anime for the King of Anime podcast, and I don't have my jacket on right now, but uh support that and support the podcast in general on c tactus channel me c tactus ea pretty much i was just watching shows for that podcast but what i was watching on the podcast first was seen yesterday for me which i enjoyed that series for a little bit <laughs> i well I'll, I'll still say i enjoyed it but i was not fucking with the ending i i hated the ending a lot it dragged down the series for me probably brought it down to like a, a six out of ten it could have been an eight maybe uh, maybe seven but it was around that range but that end it was it was not it i'll say that here now it was not it i was also watching arte which was a pretty consistent cute fun anime it didn't really have anything to it that extravagant but it didn't need that like i said it was consistent it did what it needed to do and it never had a drop in quality but then again it never had a peak in quality at least in comparison to what i've seen in the spring season all right and uh arte if we're just doing raiders for all of them arte i would give a, a seven out of ten i enjoyed it i enjoyed arte as a character and the plot of it pretty cool pretty cool also i watched tower of god which i already read the webtoon for which may have it may have made my experience with the anime a lot worse because when I was watching anime, I couldn't help but, you know, compare it to the webtoon. And that's a problem, I guess, in general, we have as manga readers when we're or you can you can go to like visual novels, anything you want to go to. When you see an adaptation and it doesn't do everything one by one, you're going to have people like me who are really honing in on the differences and it's hard to just look at the anime as its own entity but even when i'm looking at the anime as its own and i'm not comparing it to the webtoon i don't think the anime for tower of god was that great i did not like the art style i i think it's appealing to the casual viewers but it just really wasn't for me uh as far as the story there were some changes in there and it's not the fact that they're just changes i feel like they were sacrificing characters just to rush through things because they were pretty much adapting i want to say like 80 chapters worth of material from the webtoon and 13 episodes and that's just not enough even if you adapt you you would have to adapt like what i don't i'm not even trying to do the math right now but you would have to adapt like four to five chapters in one episode to get that far uh let shit let me let me get my phone to do the math real quick because i'm not doing it in my head so like what what what's because i don't even know the number 80 divided by 13 no six about six chapters in the episode it just did not work and again i feel like they were sacrificing character and just development in general to rush through things um then i was outside of the podcast i'm watching fruits basket still because it's going to be like 24 episodes i believe and fruits basket has been my favorite anime of this season or i guess by the time this video comes out i guess we'll already be in summer season but fruits basket has been my favorite anime of the spring season by far at first it was seen yesterday for me because i didn't think the fruits basket had a phenomenal start it was still solid just not great but man the last i want to say five episodes of fruits basket has has just like blew me away it, it bounces off what you got from season one greatly like there's a lot of payoff already i'm seeing and if i'm getting this payoff right now season two i'm excited to see what season three can bring but yeah fruits basket you had to watch it watch it for season one of course the remake has been beautiful even the people who've been reading a manga or or has read the manga they love this remake they said that the remake is their favorite rendition of the series so yeah other than that uh, another anime i watched was uh i don't know how to pronounce it but it's like gallon paneer something like that the teddy bear fucking furry anime I didn't enjoy that. I dropped it after episode two. I only watched it because somebody <coughs> Rex recommended it to me. 
and they thought I was really going to love the the main heroine, Claire. And I'm here to tell you, I don't give a fuck about Claire. I just didn't enjoy that series. But I think that's it for what I watched in the spring season. If I miss anything, maybe I'll tack it in at the end of the video. I don't know. But, oh, oh shit, shit. Oh, almost forgot the GOAT. Kaguya-sama, which I did not watch all the way. I haven't watched all of Kaguya-sama, but I just watched the first episode, but I've been hearing good things about it. People loved how it ended because I think it ended. I got to get on that, but if I watch Kaguya-sama, that would be the only thing that could compete with Fruits Basket for me because Kaguya-sama, I love that. I love Kaguya. I love Shirogane. I love Ishigami. I love everybody. Hayasaka, Chika, all of those characters and it's just a funny series to me so yeah that's pretty much it for what i've been watching for the spring season but we want to new things summer season all right so <laughs> i already know some of the anime i'm going to be watching all right for the king of anime podcast and yes i'm pushing the hell out of you watching the king of anime podcast I'm definitely going to watch ReZero. That's like a no-brainer. Season 2 has been hyped up to all hell. I think I'm going to live react to the first episode. I don't know if I'll talk about it on this channel, at least until it's completed. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure because I feel like ReZero isn't quite in my lane because it feels like the world is very expansive. And I feel like only I, the web comic or web comic, web not web novel readers could give you the proper content but that's just me talking but if you do want to tune in to a potential live reaction of me uh live reacted to re-zero tune in to satsuki the reactor that's where i'm going to be putting the video at hopefully it doesn't get taken down it's definitely not going to be on here because i'm not risking anything on this channel all right uh but re-zero it doesn't even have it doesn't even have a synopsis. It just says second season of ReZero, Kara, Hajimeru, Isekai, Sekatsu. Or Katsu. Yeah. Uh, so no synopsis, but this chick right here, Echitna, has been hyped up. Has been hyped up. And I've been hyping her up. And I don't even know what she does. I don't know who she is. She just has that look. Because I love me the evil women. She looked like she got that for me. So I'm ready. I'm 100% ready for ReZero second season. Um, But yeah, I guess we'll see how that plays out. Next series is Origairu, or as I like to just call it, Snafu. And this might be the last season of it. I'm not entirely sure, but I love Hachiman. Uh, I absolutely adore Aroha. That is my favorite girl, but I'm stoked to see Yukino and Yui and how this whole love triangle shit. I guess at this point, it's like a love rectangle because it's like three candidates, but I feel like Aroha has no shot, but I'm always interested, interested to see her teasing Hachiman and you know, I just, I just love her character, but it's going to be a slut fest between Yui and Yukino, I believe. And uh, in general, the characters are enjoyable. So this third season should be something. Next is Sword Art Online Alakization, which I don't watch at all. So we brushing over that. Next, you have Fire Force, which I dropped Fire Force around episode nine, eight, something around that. So I won't be watching the second season. But hey, those of y'all who watch Fire Force, enjoy that. Enjoy that because I'm pretty sure it's going to look great. And I've been hearing from the Fire Force manga readers that they enjoy it. So y'all have fun with that. Next is the God of High School, a webtoon. Okay. Now, this has been hyped up by the people who read the webtoon. I don't read it. I believe that we're going to watch this for the King of Anime podcast. This is going to be locked in by me. All right. I've been hearing that this is the Meat Head series. Fighting. <laughs> like people have been hyping up the fight so let's read the synopsis first it all began as a fighting tournament to seek out for the best fighter among all high school students in korea mori jen a taekwondo specialist and high school student soon learns that there is something much greater beneath the stage of the tournament all right so tournaments fights meathead all right and this is being done by studio mappa and uh we can go to what mappa has done but i already know because i'm a kakaguri stan they've done kakaguri and kakaguri looks great one thing I always say about Kakaguri, 
is even though I prefer the manga just because I didn't like the anime original stuff, when it came to what they were adapting, when they actually adapted what was in the manga, they hit on all cylinders. Kakiguri looks great. The art, the animation, the soundtrack, the sound effects. Mappa did a great job with Kakaguri. Um, I'm going to see what else they've done just to see if I can hype them up some more. Oh, they did Doro Doro. I forgot about Doro Doro. And Doro Doro is an old series. So even though I didn't like how Doro Doro fell off during the second half of it, I don't know if it was Studio Mappa's fault. Okay. Uh, if I if I'm just like looking at it like how it looked and everything else like just the technical stuff, Doro Doro was pretty good. It just I felt like the story fell off towards the second half, and I don't know if that was anime original stuff or if the manga really just fell off like that. Uh, did Inuyashiki, which I also watched, I didn't love the CGI in it. I thought the animation was okay. Uh, Inuyashiki for me, I it was all right. Zombieland Saga, uh, I've heard good things about that. I've never watched it myself, but yeah. Banana Fish, people love. I've heard great things about Banana Fish. Never watched it, <laughs> but I've heard good things about it. Uh, Doro Hey Doro, also heard great things about that series. So uh, if I'm just, oh, sh I forgot about the Taco Titan. Now, this is kind of worrisome just because Mappa may be picking up too many things. But they're doing Attack on Titan, which I didn't watch the trailer for. But uh, just looking at some of the screenshots, I like the art. So Mappa might do their thing when it comes to Guy to High School. I guess we'll see. But again, it's supposed to be your meathead series, fighting, fighting, fighting. You got to make the fights look great. If your series is predicated on how the choreography is, how the fighting is, it got to look great. Just like One Punch Man, as good as the story was in the second season and everything, because it didn't look great, my feelings on One Punch Man was like, hey, this shit kind of mid, all right? So you got to step up, Mappa. Step up when it comes to God of High School. We'll see how that plays out, though. Next is this one series called Kanojo Okari Shimatsu, and I read the synopsis for this before on my own, but I'll read it for the people. Dumped by his girlfriend, emotionally shattered college student Kazuya Kinoshita attempts to appease the void in his heart through a rental girlfriend from a mobile app. So, he rented bitches. At first, Chizuru Mizuhara seems to be the perfect girl with everything he could possibly ask for. Great looks and a cute, caring personality and a fat ass. Upon seeing mixed opinions on her profile after their first date and still tormented by his previous relationship, Kazuya believes that Chizuru is just playing around with the hearts of men and leaves her a negative rating. Angry at her client's disrespect towards her, Chizuru reveals her true nature, sassy and temperamental, the complete opposite of Kazuya's first impression. At that very moment, Kazuya receives news of his grandmother's collapse and is forced to bring Chizuru along with him to the hospital. Right. Although it turns out to be nothing serious, his grandmother is ecstatic that Kazuya has finally found a serious girl. My baby got a girlfriend, which had always been her wish. Unable to tell her the truth, Kazuya and Chizuru are forced into a fake relationship, acting as if they are truly lovers. All right. So, <laughs> so this dude rented him a girlfriend, and I guess it's going to be one of those romantic comedies where... At first, they're faking their relationship, but because they fake it so much, eventually they're going to actually be in a relationship. All right. That's where it seems like it's headed. It, so when it comes to just like predictability, uh, yeah, I feel like I can predict where this series is going. But I mean, if the comedy hits, the comedy hits. So it doesn't really matter if you're predictable. If you just are funny and you hit on you know other cylinders then it should be fun. I mean, the synopsis and the story seems all right enough. So this may be a series that I check out on my own. I will definitely check out the first episode. So uh, if I like it, if I like it enough to watch three episodes of it, expect a first impressions of it. But yeah, next is this series with a long ass name. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the Japanese name, but it's simply called The Misfit of Demon King Academy. And I'll tell you right now, I don't expect to watch this because I'm all isekai out. But let's read the synopsis just for fun's sake. Maybe it'll intrigue me. Let's see. 
After 2,000 years has passed, the ruthless demon lord has just been reincarnated, but his aptitude at an academy for nurturing candidates for demon lords is inept. Having the capability to destroy humans, elementals, and gods, and after a long period of countless wars and strife, Arnos, the demon lord, became sick and tired of all that and longed for a peaceful world, so he decided to reincarnate to the future. However, what awaited him after his reincarnation is a world too used to peace that his descendants became too weak due to a huge weakening in magical powers. Oh, is it? Is this a? Is this a comedy? Ah, uh, magic fantasy school. Okay, if it was a comedy, I might have checked it out. Uh, but if it's going to be something where it's serious, I don't think I don't think it's something I want to check out. But there you go. There's the synopsis. Then we have this series called Decadence. Uh, I'll just read this synopsis from right here. Many years have passed since humanity was driven to the brink of extinction by the sudden emergence of the unknown life forms. God doll. Those humans that survive now dwell in a 3,000 3, meter high mobile fortress. Decadence built to prevent themselves from the God doll threat. Uh, survival anime type of thing. We good. We good. No Guns Life second season. I did enjoy No Guns Life. It was one of those series that I just had fun watching every, well, not every week because it was some weeks I was skipping, but uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool series. So I think I'll check out the second season, but I probably won't talk about it on this channel. I'd even talk about, <laughs> some people may not even know I watch No Guns Life, but did I even do a first impression for it? I don't think so. But yeah, No Guns Life. Yeah, yeah. Looking down on all these other anime, I don't see myself checking any of these out. So pretty much to wrap up what I'm going to be watching for the summer season, I'm going to be watching ReZero. That's probably going to be my favorite anime of this season. Could be anime of the year for me. We'll see how it plays out. Watching Snafu for sure. Watching God of High School for sure. I'm going to check out this Kanojo anime. We'll see how that plays out. The Sekai anime, nah. And No Guns Life second season. So yeah, uh, about three anime I'm going to check out. So nothing too crazy. I'm not trying to break my back or anything because I am watched when it comes to this anime shit. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I am Satsuki the Savage and I am out. Tasting your soul, you're not in control, just giving you gold. Scared of your past, the future is closed. The start is the end, the end is a the start. They both are the same, can't tell them apart. Nigga, that's cuz. The intro is the outro.